Hey, what's up guys? On today's episode of Alan's Inventions, I'm going to show you how I made this uh, solar panel out of dollar store cells to charge this 18650 battery. So these are the lights that I used. Um, really simple design, as you can see, one LED, some sort of rechargeable battery in there. I don't know what the capacity of it is yet. And then, a you know, very rough plastic enclosure. And there's some sort of control circuit in here that once the solar panel has a probably drops below a certain voltage it turns it on and then probably charges a battery if there's enough light going through it uh, but even then the solar um, I'm sorry the LED isn't all that bright um, I'm really more interested in these solar panels and seeing if I can make anything uh, more useful out of them so yeah uh, let's get started So the first thing I did was like any other sane person was I went out and I spent about $15 on these uh, LED lamps from the dollar store and took one of them apart. As you can see, there's the LED and reflector. There's a couple of these battery terminals to hold the battery in place and just really thick plastic shell. Um, here you can see the control circuit board. It's just really one transistor and a resistor. And it is a single-sided PCB with a few traces on there, as you can tell. So it's definitely a voltage drop uh, circuit there. And then the part that I'm most interested in is this solar panel, which is just hot glued in. Uh, taking it apart was pretty easy. I think it was like four or five screws. Um, I saved them all, of course, for a future project. I don't know for what yet, though. But anyways, after fiddling with this, trying to scrape that glue off, um, I was finally able to break one of them free. I mean, it did take a little bit longer than I hoped, but eventually I got them out. Just slather on some elbow grease and bam, there you go. That's the first one. And then what I tried to do was solder on some test wires to the panel. Um, just so that I could test each solar panel, see what kind of voltage and current I was going to get out of it. But that proved a little bit more difficult to do on camera than I thought. So with the magic of video editing, wait for it, bam, I was finally able to get them on there and I got some leads ready to test. Let's see. So each one of these solar panels outputs about two volts. Uh, that was an indoor lighting and I tested it outdoors as well and it never really went above 2.1 um, so that's kind of the voltage limit and then as far as current uh, they all varied it was somewhere between 14 and about 20 uh, I think it's hundredths of a milliamp um, yeah so the process began of taking all these apart I used 15 because I knew some of these were not going to be completely usable since they were going to break or I was going to somehow ruin them and I didn't want to get a case of arthritis. So power tool time. Twelve lights later. Here's how I hooked them all up. So I wired each row in series. So positive to negative, positive to negative, and then what I did with each one of these columns is I wired them in parallel. This way I would get six volts each, I'm sorry, six volts out of the whole panel combined, but with the discrepancies in all the solar panels, I really wasn't sure how much current I was going to be able to get. So I 3D printed the enclosure. Um, so you can see it's very simple. Dropped it on the table, put the panels in. Then I hot glued them in. I know you like my pink gun. Uh, as you can see, I got ahead of myself and soldered some first just to test it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thanks. Don't have sponsors, so I rely on your views and likes and comments. Drop a comment below and uh, I'll mail you a solar panel. Just kidding. No, I won't. Thanks for watching, though. On to the next phase, hooking up the rows all to each other 
So after I wired everything on the solar panels, I added just some more hot glue to hold them in place. I didn't want those solder contacts ripping off like it did in the first one. And then I tested each column and I was getting, you know, anywhere from 3.6 to 4.2 4 volts, I think, on some cases. And that was under a uh, light bulb indoors. Um, by the way, for all my testing and everything that I do indoors, everything is the exact same location, same lighting, same everything. Um, and as you can see current, I was getting, you know, the same amount from each row. Um, that's just because they were in series. All I was doing was upping the voltage. Once I hook them up in parallel, that's upping the current. I adjusted the light to see if there was any change. And I dropped the light, uh, the light bulb about 10 inches. And you can see in the reflection that the reflection and the output uh, measured current that it did significantly go up. So 4.1 volts. That one was good. 6.2 volts. Um, 4.8. And then 5.5 volt, uh, excuse me, 5 volts. Next up, I soldered some cables to this TP4056 module, which is basically an 18650 battery charger and um, it basically prevents a protection circuit so it doesn't over discharge or it charges it to a safe level. Um, I basically, you know, on the board, it's pretty self explanatory B plus, B negative for your battery terminals. And then there's an input and output um, connection point. And what I actually did was where the outputs and inputs for the power were from the solar panel or from the charging circuit or out to something else, I wired on these uh, female headers that you can see here. That way I can just swap them or use them for something else. And I don't have to permanently commit that TP4056. Then I printed a base for the whole thing. You know, please, again, like, subscribe this video. Uh, rely on you guys. So. Here's a nice view of my bad tuning on my 3D printer that I have to retune. But after I printed that, um, basically just assembled the whole thing. This one does have a 45 degree angle at the bottom. So when the panel is mounted, it'll basically be 45 degrees. I did reuse some of the screws that I got from the lamps just because they were, uh, I don't know what you call it. They were a pointy head and it would go well with the plastic. So I did over tighten them a little bit. You can see how it kind of warps the plastic down at the bottom, but it held great. And again, I'm reusing just old parts from the lamps. So I tried to keep as many of those parts as I could, like the battery terminals I used, the wires I kept for you know, just other projects. I have a lot of battery terminals left now, the solar panels, the LED lights I kept. I'm thinking about maybe doing a big disco ball with the uh, <laughs> the LEDs and the reflectors, but I'm not sure yet. Let me know if you want to see that in a future build. So anyways, back to this one. After I screwed the base to the solar panel, it was pretty much complete. I just had to kind of wire everything together and ignore the uh, hot glue spider webs going on. Then finally it was testing time. Again, the TP4056 module didn't work out so great. So this test is the solar panel on its own at direct sunlight at about 3 o'clock in Southern California. So you can see I'm getting, you know, 85 milliamps. Um, that'll run, you know, a low power Arduino or an Arduino in low power mode. Something like a Nat Tiny, probably a Nano, I'm not sure. Uh, definitely won't run anything like a Raspberry Pi or anything like that, which I am thinking of doing. Check out my other videos if you're interested. And I was able to get about 7.4 volts, which is really good. It's better than I expected, to be honest with you guys. Um, but by the way, I didn't tell you, but those batteries that came with the lamps were 100 milliamps each. And I have to test that yet because I first, um, first time I used one of those, they're like a AAA fit form and function, but they don't perform like that. Anyways. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I'm thinking about doing a comparison video with a $10 solar lamp, kind of like this one, and then also a um, commercial solar panel you can buy off eBay for like your cell phone. And then finally a true, you know, a really big solar panel, like a two watt or three watt solar panel from like Harbor Freight or one of those other name brand stores. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed.